Hey what's up guys welcome back to my another tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about how we can integrate passwordless authentication in our flutter application and this is going to be a very interesting topic as usual you know me for creating interesting stuff around flutter so um what we are going to do we are actually going to see how we can have an authentication system which does not require password technically uh, along with we can have sign in with google you know my uh, facebook apple um and all that stuff we're gonna take a look briefly that uh, what exactly we can do and how we are going to do it so if you are interested already press the like button and let's start So what we are going to do uh, is basically we are going to check out this magic SDK. So this magic is actually gonna perform the passwordless authentication for us. You might have seen it similarly in Slack as well that uh, you just enter your email which you can see over here. Just enter your email and press on the login button and then you get an email and you can just uh, confirm that email basically to log into your account and we will also if you will just start with it like if you will create your account kind of sign up then you will also get 10,000 free logins which is a good thing which we are going to try to have. so what else it gives email sms social which is facebook github apple and all web authentication multi-factor authentication is also possible and blockchain we're going to just check whatever we get from this and as you see that a lot of platforms are supported and we also have a magic sdk over here which is an official sdk the current version is 0.4.0 when i am recording this video so we are going to check this as well and uh, we have a dashboard over here so once you create your account you will get a dashboard something like this and you will also get a publishable api key which i am going to also use and uh, 85 dollars worth of credit you will get uh, when you initially create your account so as you can see, we have a very simple Flutter app, nothing else, just a theme data uh, along with a home page. And inside home page, I'm using my package Velocity X just to create this uh, UI quickly. So it has just a text, a text field and a button, nothing else, nothing fancy over here. So uh, now let's integrate the magic SDK and let's see how that works. So first of all, um just let me show you the structure of this project so it has just to home and main dot dot we can go to pubspec.yml and what i can do i can add magic sdk here so um let's say here i can just say magic sdk and i think the version was 0 0.4.0 so i'll just do a flutter pub get running and once you do that guys so you have to restart your application by the way so we are gonna do that as well if required so let's go to main dot dot and we have a home over here okay what we can do um basically we have to first of create the instance of this so if we see here we have to create an instance and we have to give our api key then we can use the relayer which is nothing but uh, kind of uh, uh you can say you have a stack you have a uh, lot of children's over there and you just add the relay here uh it's it's very good for performance so uh that's what we are gonna see so in the home i can add a stack just like that and we can just say home and let's remove the cons from here and we will add this const over here and then let's add the, our magic sdk so i have to import magic first of all so magic i have imported magic dot instance and that instance we will get if we will create the object of magic and we need to give it an api key so this api key i'll get from the dashboard i'll just copy it and I'll just paste it so i got the api key okay let's see what happened okay our app crashed for some reason uh, because i just added the instance directly here uh, which is fine which was x 
expected and uh, okay we have home and then what we can do we can add the V layer over here and that should be fine let's run our application and let's see what we get so it's gonna take a moment to run and uh, what we are doing basically we want to have like like if you check there we had we had a page okay where we had a text field if you click on the login button you just um, enter your text field and you just click on the login button and just uh, you will get an email on the email id which you have entered and then you can click on that button and you get the authentication done that's it so our app is running now we have an email over here and let's also check the logs continuously that we don't miss anything so instance relayer is done and then um what we have to do it's it's actually going to be very simple um so we have we have to get the token from here and uh, yeah that's that's totally fine so let's let's authenticate our first user let's see how it works okay so what i'm gonna do um i have the controller already okay when i am clicking on this login button okay what i'm gonna do i am um let's create a method over here for example authenticate okay something like this and let's pass the context as well so we will create a method over here for example we are saying uh, let's say authenticate okay which will take build context and it will be a asynchronous method and here what we can say we can get the token how we can use magic over here so magic we are going to get from where so we can just say magic dot let's import magic as d okay we get magic uh, dot instance dot uh, authenticate auth dot uh, login with magic link we have a lot of options so login with magic link login with sms and all those we will perform all of those uh let's say login with a uh, magic link and we have to give the email over here so we can get the text from controller dot text okay right now what i'm going to do and also i will await for it and once i get the token i can print the token guys okay so all of these things i'm doing uh, what exactly is happening so what i'm saying that i will enter some email over here okay let's say something like code code at the rate gmail.com i but once i add that email i'll press the login button it will ask the instance dot auth that i want to log in with the magic link and then you will give the email over here okay you can add that authentication by yourself um oh, sorry validation by yourself i'm not validating anything but yeah this is how you will do it and then we will receive a particular token let's try it out okay so what i'm gonna do i have already entered codepur at the rate gmail.com i'm just gonna press login button over here and let's see what happens so login is doing something or not okay so you can see we already got something like check your email we emailed a magic link to code put at the rate gmail.com click the link to log in or sign up and as of now i haven't received any token okay so let's let's do it so i'll go to my email address and i can see login my first app you can change the name of this from here this is the first app basically right and uh, um click the button below to log into first app this button will expire in 20 minutes so i'll just click over here and boom so you are logged in into first app and now if i go back here then i must see something okay let's see yes so i finally got the token over here okay let's see that and we got the token so this token is basically your authentication that you have done the authentication and uh, and you can do something about uh, after that right like you can say print logged in successfully okay so this is what you can do and if i do that that's it so basically what exactly happened so we got an 
a kind of a token once the login is done so that you can also call auth token okay so it was pretty simple right this 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 is really really simple you just have to add your publishable key and nothing else and if i see users now if i uh, refresh over here then you can see my login um, account has this user called poor at the rate gmail.com he has signed up one minute ago and uh, passwordless login email is done uh, i can enable sms by the way uh, and this is enabled and i can also enable web authentication okay that's pretty good social login is also something which you can enable like gmail you have to add your client id and client secret and all which which i think you can also um do using firebase um, and there's a lot of option in fact and you can also do the brand from branding kind of things right so that's pretty cool and uh, you can also have dark mode and all those kind of things so that's that's how we saw okay now let's try something else okay let's see how we can um authenticate using the otp okay okay let's say we have enter otp okay something like this and uh, we just say um p16 p632 and uh, let's let's do this so move this from here and add it over here okay one second guys so let's remove it from here and add it over here and uh, yeah so login and then we have otp where we will just uh, try this and we will just say with otp okay so this is something interesting um and we need another controller basically so what i'm gonna do otp controller i'm gonna create and this otp controller i'm gonna give to this second uh text field and then we will do a hot restart just for the sake of doing it and o enter otp okay we have um, kind of um, authenticate method already um what we can do um we can create another method with otp kind of this and rather than saying logic uh login with magic link we can say login with sms and uh, here we have to give the phone number okay so um let's say phone number and we can just say otp controller dot text okay and uh, otp controller we are saying enter otp we should say enter uh phone number okay so login with otp we have and we have enter phone number let's try it out and we will say authenticate with otp right and uh, now what i'm gonna do i'm just uh gonna restrict over here as well and let's see if this works so i'm gonna add a phone number over here and uh, then i'll click on login with otp 919 so let me just add it quickly and then i'll click on login with otp and now you can see that press and please enter the code sent to this number and let me see if i have received any code so guys i have received the otp now i'll have to enter this otp over here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna enter my otp which is one nine uh one eight nine three and let's see and it's verified so this is saying verified and uh, let's see if we get the token and yes we got the token guys so logged in successfully so we were able to also log in using otp and uh, let's see what's next over here so this is this is pretty interesting we can do with um login with sms we can do login with magic link and we can also send it to provider uh for example if we are using something like you know google facebook and all that stuff so it's pretty interesting and uh, we will also explore other things here and you can also do the branding over here so for example if you want to do the brand branding what you can do is basically you can change the color from here you can add the logo of your company right and uh, 
yeah you can also check whether you want to use light theme or dark theme and uh, this is how it will look like you can also see the preview over here which is pretty good and um, yeah if we go back to users we have two users one is with the phone number one is with the email id and uh, we have um if i go back to home then i can see those two users as well and uh, this is pretty interesting and if you see my credits it is now 84.99 which is pretty good i have still 9999 paid logins left and i can add more credits from here so this is something which is pretty cool and along with that we can also add blockchain related stuff so what i'm gonna see is uh, i'm just gonna open the docs and we can just check from here that you know how we can add uh, blockchain related stuff so we can also integrate blockchain with magic in flutter um and uh, we will see in the, in the next video if you're interested let me know in the comments and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did press the like button and subscribe to my channel for future updates and uh, yeah uh, i hope you will try magic out soon the link is in the description so thanks for watching bye bye and i'll see in the next video